CarFlows is very popular among our users. In fact, I had a lot of questions about how to integrate CarFlows and Pixel your site, how to track event, how to track purchases correctly, how to send conversion API events to Facebook, and until recently, uh, CarFlows and Pixel your site were not working that great together. But this is now changed because in the last month, our developers worked with complete integration between Pixel Your Site Professional and CarFlows. Uh, watch this video until the end. You will find out how Pixel Your Site tracks every single thing or car on CarFlows. Uh, we fire standard events on landing pages um, or bump orders. We also fire purchases um, for upsell, for downsells. Everything is tracked. We have a number of uh, custom events tracking each car flow step and action and a number of um, specific parameters that we add to all the events fired by the plugin. The idea is to help you, first of all, track um, everything related to car flows, for example, on Google Analytics, but also to help you uh, build custom audiences on Facebook or audiences on Google Analytics, Google Ads, Bing, Pinterest. And if you want custom conversions uh, or goals, how they are called on Google Analytics. So this is how Pixel Your Site Professional can help you if you are a CarFlow, CarFlow user. Watch this video because I will explain every single thing. Okay. Now, this is Pixel Your Site Professional. It has um, this new page right here for CarFlows. And there are several options. Uh, the first thing that you will see is the possibility to add an extra Facebook Pixel or Facebook Conversion API, an extra Google Analytics ID, Google Ads tag ID, uh, Pinterest or Bing. Um, these tags and Facebook Conversion API will track only CarFlows pages. So if you want to have a dedicated uh, pixel or tag, or tag for CarFlows, you can do it. It's not mandatory, it's just an option. But that's not all, because uh, we have, as I mentioned before, a number of events that we fire automatically. For example, uh, we have, of course, purchase that is fired uh, for upsell and downsells, we have, uh, of course, an add to cart that is fired when uh, your visitors accept uh, the car flows offer, but also for order bumps, because basically that's what happens when they um, agree to an, an order bump, they add a new product to cart and we track that product. Um, we have uh, a lead event for uh, opt-ins so if you have an opt-in you can enable this event and we will send a lead event um, you can also send a purchase event for an opt-in if you want but that's up to you and we have a uh, view content uh, fired on landing pages it's also fired on upsell and downsells um, because in essence when they visit those pages they uh, view a product page so these are the normal standard events for facebook and for google analytics and for google ads for pinterest and for bing they these events track the products they have the product id the product value uh, everything the product title and everything is tracked with these um, standard events but we also have a number of uh, custom events tracking only car, for, car flows pages and actions. We have uh, an event core called car flows. Uh, it fires on every car flow page. The idea is uh, you can use it to create a custom audience for anybody that visited a, a car flow page. We can track every step with dedicated events, uh, landing, upsell, downsell, checkout, thank you page, and opt-in. They all have a dedicated event. 
and we can track all the bumps with an event. I will show you how it works uh, a bit later. And we also have um, parameters, car flows, um, car flows flow, which will track the uh, flow's name and car flow step, tracking the step. And now let's see how it works exactly and why all these events are so useful. I have a few flows, testing flows, they make no sense, they don't have real products. They are here just uh, so I can show you how Pixel Your Site works and what it does. For example, here I will use uh, only the um, Facebook events because it's easier for me to show them using uh, Pixel Helper. Uh, the other tags have the same events. Uh, the name might, might be different because, for example, view content, I think it's called content view on Google Analytics and stuff like that, but m minor differences. <clears throat> so this is a landing page. We have the standard view content event tracking everything. Uh, we have the general car flows event named car flows. Again, this event is on every car flow page, but we also have the specific car flows landing because this is a landing page. So you can use it, uh, this event to create, uh, for example, a custom audience for anybody that visited a landing page, if you want to do so. And of course, you have uh, uh, other events that the plugin fires. Now, um, all the events here have the specific car flows parameters. For example, we have, um, let me find them. Car flows, yes. So if you want to, let's say, uh, track add to carts related to car flows, you can create a custom audience uh, for the add to cart events where car, flow, car flows parameters uh, has the value, yes. And uh, this custom audience will have everybody that uh, added to cart on car flows. So if you have a more complex website with some other pages like normal products and stuff like that. So it, it depends, but it can be useful. Uh, we have car flow step landing because this is a landing page and car flows flow tracking the flow's name, which in my case is herbal pro bump. This is the name of the flow. Okay, now I accept this offer, I guess. I, I click on order now and I land on the checkout page. I have a new set of, of events, an add to cart because I just added to cart um, the product and the add to cart will track all the um, product uh, data and everything. And I have the specific CarFlows checkout event because I am on a checkout page from CarFlows. I also have the normal, so let's say, the standard initiate checkout. Now, I will take the bump offer. Yes. What happens? We have a new add to cart. This time for the product connected to the bump, okay? Because in effect, in, in essence, I've just added this new product to cart. Again, everything is struck and so on. I place the order. I will see an upsell, but until then, of course, I have the purchase event fired with all the products that I had uh, added in the card previously, in, in the previous step, the, the accepted offer and the bump uh, order, and the order bump. So, and I also have card flows upsell. So you can use this to create a custom audience for everybody that visited an upsell, for example. Uh, if you want, you can go uh, into specific and say uh, which uh, upsell you want to target which flow or which upsell you want to target. Um, and now I have two, three, actually I have three possible options. I can say yes to the upsell and uh, add this to my order. 
In this case, I will trigger a new purchase event because I will purchase a new product, but just for that new product related to the upsell. Or I can say, no, thanks, I'll pass. And I will visit the confirmation page. In this case, no purchase event will be fired because uh, I didn't bought anything new. I just have this purchase event tracking uh, my transaction. Or I just I can just leave the website and uh, do nothing. But this is also fine because I was already tracked by this purchase event. So uh, I will say add to my order. I'm a good customer. I buy anything. Okay. All good. And let's see if we have the event. Yes, we do. We have a new purchase this time just for the upsell product because uh, for the other products I had another purchase event. And of course, I have the specific car flows thank you event with the parameters and everything. So if you want, you can create a custom audience for people that visited um, Cardflow's thank you pages using that event. Um, I think I show you, showed you the basic stuff. You have all these events that you can use. You can track everything. You can create custom audiences or custom conversions if you want it, because I can use these events for custom conversions. Or if you want goals on um, Google Analytics, the old one, and conversions on the new Google Analytics 4. The name is a bit different. Uh, so another thing I want to explain is how purchases are tracked. Now, uh, there are two possible things, uh, two possible options. Uh, purchases can work in CarFlows. One, and this is the recommended uh, setup by CarFlows and by us, is to create a new child order for every upsell or downsell that is accepted. Uh, if you do so, we will fire a purchase event every time. And it's correct because you will have uh, multiple purchases for each upsell and downsell. But you can also add the upsell and or the downsell to the um, parent order. So this is the other option in CarFlow's settings. In this case, we have in our plugin two possible settings. Uh, fire a purchase event for each upsell or downsell. Uh, this is my um, current setup and this is how it worked in my um, showcase. Or, but th there will be a problem because you will have a, a, a larger number of purchases. So in your WooCommerce, you will have, let's say, 10 transactions, but um, maybe uh, Google Analytics will report uh, 20 because uh, you also have a purchase event for each upsell or downsell and Facebook might report um, multiple uh, more purchases as well. So this can be a bit prob a bit of a problem, but the value will be correct because we all uh, we we track only the product in the upsell. So uh, the value is fine. The number of purchases won't be fine. You can um, decide to fire a single purchase event for upsell or downsell. It means that we will fire the event at the very end. So if I say yes to an offer, I take the offer, I say yes to the uh, upsell, I land on the um, thank you page. This is where the purchase event is fired. In this case, it's fine because we track the transaction or I accept the offer, I land on the upsell, I say no thank you, I go to the thank you page. Again, it's fine because I reached the thank you page uh, and this is where the purchase event is fired. But if I leave on the upsell page or on the downsell, pay, downsell page without doing anything, um, you, uh, the plugin will not be able to track me. So this is the case, the scenario, the, the situation that will create some problems if I simply leave the website before I reach the thank you page in this uh, situation when um, the upsell is added to the main order instead of creating a new um, 
order and you select the second option this is well uh, it depends how you can how you want to configure you have the liberty to to choose between these settings so um, basically that's it this is the main stuff i wanted to explain and to show you uh, this is how carflows works in essence it will help you track everything that you want it will uh, send data to facebook using conversion api uh, it works with google analytics google ads tag uh, bing and pinterest and of course the facebook pixel uh, and as you saw in my uh, short presentation it's complex and easy to use